developing now in Suffolk. New details in that deadly crash involving a train and a truck. I saw the truck get hit by the train and it flew by my apartment. It sounded like the um, it sounded like the train was coming off the tracks. Witnesses describe the moment an Amtrak train plowed into a dump truck last night. This evening, we know Carl Hill was at the wheel of the truck. Hill's family confirming that to 13 News Now. This started just before 8 o'clock last night in downtown Suffolk. The Norfolk-bound train hit the truck, killing the 61-year-old driver. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller picks up the story. We're told Carl Hill's extended family is making their way to the area to mourn their loss together. Tonight, we're hearing from a friend of more than 50 years. She's trying to cope with exactly what happened as crews work to repair the physical damage here. I'm still in shock. Sandra Williams heard about this horrific scene on 13 News Now last night. An Amtrak train traveling from New York to Norfolk careened into a dump truck. Witnesses say they saw that truck trying to back up off the tracks, but it didn't get out of the way in time. It wasn't until early this morning she learned it was her lifelong friend inside that truck. Sandra says she got a call from Carl Hill's wife. I just dropped the phone and I said, no, you can't be telling me the real truth. I just couldn't say anything for about 30 minutes. The two grew up together in Huntersville. Sandra talked to Carl just a few days ago. He was a person that he reached out to people that needed help. He was always there for his family. He was always there for people that he didn't even know. There were 60 people on the 10 car train last night. EMS took just one to the hospital. Sandra believes those passengers and Hill's family will struggle with this for a while. Well, it's just something that, you know, you may see it on a TV show or something, but actually for reality, that's a hard pill to swallow. It's really a hard pill. And we've learned Suffolk Police, not the NTSB, will be the agency investigating exactly what led up to this crash. Stick with us on air and online for any new information. In Suffolk, Laura Geller, 13 News Now. Suffolk was the scene of more trouble on the tracks. Back in May, a freight train jumped the tracks just feet from backyards on Shoulders Hill Road. That's in the Suffolk Meadows neighborhood. Nobody hurt here, but the train wasn't carrying anything hazardous. And last year, a Norfolk Southern train derailed in downtown Suffolk. Roads were closed while crews cleaned up tons of spilled coal.